co often corrugated asbestos for the roofing. Everything's asbestos. Yeah, it's light, very light. Yeah, because it's yeah. and a great insulator. And it's fireproof. Yeah. Except these days you can't ah, use it for anything. fireproof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In mm. fact, I'm probably going to die of uh, lung you cancer just because it, I touched yeah. it. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. Are you ready for a fun little adventure? I hope so. We've actually been on a fun little adventure, but I wasn't real happy with the intro. I'm not sure it turned out because the camera's been messing up, so I want to do it again. I'm here with NQ Explorers. Warren. Here we Hi. are. And we had an awesome hunt. We did. Warren, he found like the most awesome relic you're ever going to see, in my opinion anyway, and it's coming up. I actually found some silver too. Yeah. That was I think good. you found a few things as well, yeah, didn't you? All right, well, <laughs> please stay around for the adventure. It's going to be a good one. Uh, good one, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doofus, aren't I? <laughs> oh, no, you're a doll. You're just fine. You're just fine. <laughs> we'll see you a little bit later. So I've been moving through the uh, bush and not a lot of signals, a little bit of iron, but not anything good until now. I saw these rocks right here, kind of scooted over here and take a look at it. And I got my first good signal right there. Not like really high like a coin, but I think we'll dig it together. Oh, before I forget, again, AT Max today, I prefer zero mode. I have it on zero iron discrimination, maximum sensitivity. And the reason I like zero iron, or you know, let's just bump it up, I guess. Two is that when we get start getting into a patch of iron, we know we might want to slow down and uh, you know listen for better the good signals. If you don't have the iron, if you have the iron discrimination too high and you can't hear the iron, you might just blow right through what could be a really good spot that other diggers you know blew through too and didn't bother digging first signal oh it's not a pull tab all right let's do it we'll quit yapping there it is still right in the 40s really kind of low dry it's still the dry season here ah, getting closer okay all right. after this we'll get the pick out not nah, that we moved it we'll have to get the pick you see it <laughs> all right Ah, not good. This is foil. That's why we had that really low reading. I don't know if this is World War II era stuff. It could be later. But at least we got a target. We know the metal detectors work. And maybe the next 42 will be a little gold nugget. So I dug up the foil right there. And I have a true squeaker right in here. Which sounds like a much better target. I'm going to scrape these leaves back just a little bit. Get the uh, move some of the loose dirt on top. Hopefully it's right in there, but it doesn't appear to be, so we're going to have to dig. Uh, okay, it's not like a really super high coin, but something we definitely need to investigate. I'm going to go ahead and do the pinpointing thing. I know it's not going to be very deep. Well, actually, this one might be deep. It's not picking up real well. So that means it's down at least three or four inches outside of the target. Break up the soil. There we go. Break it back. Don't want to kill the roots though, because Warren says we need to protect the trees. All right, I should have gotten it, or it'll be right here, one of the two. Yeah, still in there. So we get that three or four inches taken off. There we go. Right there. Again, I'm going outside of the target, trying to break the soil up so I don't hit it. There, that should have gotten there. All right, I just saw it come out of the hole. I think this is going to be whatever it is we heard. Uh, some, again, that's some type of tube, I would think. It's got some writing on the top. Looks like Coca-Cola. <laughs> I don't think it's Coca-Cola. I don't know what that is. But that's a nice little brassy lid to a tube of uh, probably some type of ointment. Okay. Just finding things like that tells us that there could be good stuff here, too. You know, the coins and the insignia and stuff. Uh, that signal is, is very similar to something you might find if you had a very small insignia. Let's keep at it. I don't hear anybody ballyhooing over there. You guys ballyhooing? No. Nothing yet? 
We're all very hungry because Warren didn't stop for lunch. Yeah, poor planning. <laughs> he just wanted to get here so bad. <laughs> we'll find something though. I have been issued my little snake bite bandage by Colleen. I have to carry it with me just in case. Apparently what they do over here, I don't know if they do this in the States or not, is this is bandage and uh, you wrap it around. You know, if something bites you, you don't clean it off uh, because, it, you know, you don't clean it in, in any way because they want to have, be able to get a sample of the venom so they know what kind of anti-venom to give you. And you just take this bandage and you wrap it around your leg until uh, there's some type of symbol on here that once it becomes, a, I think they said a square, you know, that it's tight enough. And you just wrap it around the wound going up the leg or up the arm and uh well just hope you make it to a hospital before you die because once you die well so <laughs> there's no treatment for you no anti-venom needed a little signal it's not like well, that's my pick it's not the best of signals but it's definitely not iron so we're gonna go ahead and dig it ah something biting me that's iron 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 right there you know, I must be standing in an ant mound because I got stuff biting me, but I'm not going to look because I'm afraid. All right. Good signal here. Not like super high coin sounding, but... Oh, oh yeah, it is, too. Look at that. That's good. That's, that's not going to be a toothpaste tube, I don't believe. Oh, pinpointer on her. There we go. That's good. So it's down fairly... Really deep because it's not going off like crazy. So it's right here down probably at least four or five inches. At least, depending on the size. Right. Let me try not to destroy too much wildlife. Oh, that pick went right down the middle, didn't it? Wow, that was a moronic thing to do. All right, All right that should be good. I think we probably got it there. Or oh, we're right at it. Yeah, we're right at it. I feel it just pick it out with our fingers if we're lucky but we're not going to be lucky today we'll pick work i see it do you see it i think it's a coin looks like a gold coin from here is it could be i don't suppose that's gold but i think it is a coin no, it's not a coin. <laughs> of course, I should have known. It's a grommet. <laughs> These were used on the uh, tents and ponchos and things like that. A big one like this is probably a tent. It's funny, you know, I've dug a bunch of these. Should have known it was a grommet right away, but all I saw was a coin because that's what I want to see. Good sign, though. There's good signals in the ground still. All right, double check the hole before I went to fill it. Now, look at these flies. Look at that thing. Some type of like a horse fly or deer fly or something. They bite really, really hard. But we're used to that. Uh, I think there's another target here. You can hear some iron undertones. But I think there's a little squeaker. Right in there. Now, it's pretty noisy because, again, I have the discrimination on zero. If I tighten it up a little, put it a little bit higher, you wouldn't hear as much of that squawking. And it would be your loss. Let's go up here a little bit further. down to about the level of the grommet and I'll stop digging. Got it all cleaned out. I can see a non-ferrous target here and that is a tube. A broken tube of probably like toothpaste or something. Ah oh, look you can read it. <laughs> Let's pull it apart. Yeah this would be like uh... I'll tell you what let me set you down. Hopefully you can see this a little bit better. I'm kind of curious just as to what it might be. I don't know if we'll ever know because it's just flaking away to nothing, but it's kind of hoping. There seems to be a lot of toothpaste in this stuff. So we're going to try something radical. I'm going to go down into where the uh, dam is and where the water might have been, well it was, and the soldiers used to swim around. Call them diggers, right? Let's check that out see what we can find. I, I think Warren said he's never really detected down here. So it will be tough. Lots of big rocks. So I think someone dug a hole right there. That could have been a detectorist or could have been a, an animal like a bandicoot. 
watching. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I think that was dug out. I'm gonna just look around a little bit. If I get a good signal, we'll get you back on board. If not, we're gonna go back up on the table laying there where they actually had the building. Well, these are definitely dig holes and not the, uh, for metal detectors and not bandicoots because there's a piece of iron they're digging up right there. It looks like rebar, not a bayonet. So this has been dug recently, probably. Yeah, see, they left the target in the hole there, so it's either junk or they're not very good detectors. Or both. I don't think they dug that out, did they? Go ahead and get it down to the dirt that has not been disturbed. Yeah, so they dug it and left it. So chances are it's a piece of junk. They just threw it back in the hole. Small or whatever it is, but it's non ferrous so it could be something good. I should get the pinpointer out. Yeah, let's just do the pinpointer. Be a hundred times quicker than since I'm holding the camera. Whee! <laughs> Maybe. Not oh, there it is. I see it. Okay, so it is another one of those uh, tubes of toothpaste or ointment. So whoever dug it just pitched it back in a hole and covered it over. Got a good signal here. Well, it's mid 40s that I'm digging, but I just heard warn. Say, hey come over here we got a good find so let's go look at it he said it was awesome yeah. except he said it was awesome how did you pronounce that awesome, awesome. yeah so, uh, true bit of digger history look it's a slouch hat an australian slouch hat made from a penny coin that's a penny that's a penny wow so you can see australia's written under the bottom he's put the he's turned up the brim like his uniform hat and he's put a little bash in the top on the king side and underneath you can read I don't even get it close enough to see Australia, 1943. That's like the coolest thing I've seen us dig yet. That is an I awesome think that point. is, I mean, that's unique. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's absolutely yeah. unique. Yeah, it's a really personal. May I hold this? Personal bit of history there. Wow. Ah, that is absolutely incredible. I mean, if He's I was going to find anything, this is what I'd want to find, or something like that. That is so, she's all turned up. Yeah. That's cool. Man. And a little bash in the top with it. Did with you a find it or? No, I just found it here. I got Did you find it? Right next wow, to that. Wow, I walked right over that. It doesn't get any better than or that. Or trench art is yeah. so, so, like a coin's a coin, but that's a bit of trench art made by a digger a long way from home, serving his country. I just love yeah. it. Love it. Look at that thing. That find of Warren just absolutely blew me away. I mean, if if that is like the perfect thing to find out here, it's just awesome. That little hat turned up. You know why they turn the hats up like that? That's because of the uh, rifle with the bayonet. The bayonet would be sticking up, so the hat was turned up so that it could, it would clear the brim. All right, back to my little signal that I had that's probably going to be a tube of toothpaste. All right, right, ah, it's still there. At least we know that the uh, other diggers didn't dig it and rebury it. But not a real high read, so I don't think it's gonna be like a coin. But we really don't know what it is until we get it out of the ground. Uh, let me set you down. Should be, ah, there it is. What is it? You see it? I actually called this one. It is a toothpaste tube that I actually hit, but it's falling apart as we look at it. So it's like, a, I guess a zinc, that's probably toothpaste in there, zinc lead mixture. Go ahead and bag it. Cover up the hole and we're gonna go up there and find something good. This is where we found your penny, yeah, more or less. Right so you see, this is asbestos. Yeah. It's obviously been huts in here and tents, but maybe the mess hall or the entertainment hall. So was, was this used for siding? Yes, yeah, siding. Yeah, it looks like siding. And okay. it would have been co often corrugated asbestos for the roofing. Everything was asbestos. Yeah, it's light, very light. Yeah, because it's yeah. And a great insulator. It's fireproof. Yeah. Except these days you can't ah, use it for anything. fireproof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In yeah. fact, I'm probably going to die of uh, lung You're cancer just because it, I touched yeah. it. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Well, over here three or four years, in the end it was... Oh, I won't suggest it was a holiday camp, but like there's, there's swimming pools and there's uh, tropical beach and lots of fishing, so yeah. it w wasn't the worst posting in the right. army. Yeah, that's the part where they sent the guys that couldn't fight anymore. Exactly. They just were done. Yep. Um, yep. Down in the bottom, lots of dig holes and stuff just laying right beside the dig holes. Someone's been messy detecting. Yeah, that's not, not long good. ago, since well, the last rain. I don't like that. Yep. All right, let's get back okay. at it. What do you say? Get back at it? Yeah, let's get back at it. All right. I just dug this little doodad. Not sure what it is, but I don't suspect it's a great, uh, great find. Not like a hat. Well, it kind of looks like a hat. Warren has suggested that I don't really dig too much in the, like, the 40s 
uh, because there's so much of those toothpaste, so much toothpaste tube like material out here in foil um, that I'll, I'll be digging those all day. And guess what? I've been digging those all day. So from now on, we'll just start in the low to mid, well, mid 50s and up. And I think we'll probably have a little better luck. Just like this little doodad, which um, I guess it's just a piece of lead that's fancily formed. You can see the edges on it. I don't see any writing on it. It's very soft, so I can't, I can't imagine it was used for insignia or anything, but it's definitely got edges. We'll save that for Warren to take a look at. A nice little squeaker here. That, I think it's reading, well, it's not really squeaker, it's mid-tone, but um, hopefully reading a little bit higher than a toothpaste tube. Well, it is reading higher, so we'll go ahead and dig it. We're going to cherry pick. Not dig the toothpaste tube signals. Because that's, uh, I think we'll dig those all day long and not find anything else if, if we dig those. Keep digging those signals off to the side a little bit. Okay, there it is. Ready? <laughs> Wasn't a particularly high signal, but just a few numbers higher than what I've been getting on the toothpaste. Of course, that could be a piece of iron right there. No, it's out of the hole at least. We're getting close. Right here. Pick back. Off to the side. <gasps> what is it? Now, I can almost tell you right away, although that looks like an awesome freaking button. Well, let me just say an awesome button. Uh, that's going to be a grommet. There, there's so many of these out here. Yeah, that's a grommet. Still pretty cool. A good, uh, good relic of World War II. Come on, you. Of World War II. Another signal here. I don't think it's going to be toothpaste, but it's not a high reading signal particularly, but it's, uh, well, it's actually right in the toothpaste range, but it sounds smaller to me. I mean, it just seems like it's a smaller target than one of those big tubes. So I'm going to go ahead and dig it just in case. Could be a small grommet or something. I don't think it's very deep, so oh, we probably got it on that one. Let's check it. Yeah, we did. One here. Another target in the hole still. We're gonna dig out two in a minute. Obviously two signals, one still in the hole, but... What is it? Oh, no. <laughs> that is... It's actually not a piece of tube. It's a little piece of um, copper or brass. We knew it was small. All right, let's check it with the machine. Make sure. Yeah, so there's probably more of it right here. I hate to leave stuff behind because you never know, but if we're gonna find the good stuff, we're gonna have to dig a lot if we're gonna dig these questionable signals. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. I know there's a signal here, uh, probably back close to me now. And there might be one there Although I'm not hearing it right now. Yeah, let's just do this together real quick. It's very small though. Ah, something's biting me on the arm. Yada yada. Yapper yapper. Alright. Ah! <laughs> I think I'm Ow! Gosh. I hope it's not a snake. You, know, you saw him fly by, didn't you? Alright. All right. Ah, there it is. I think it's gonna rain. Look how dark it's getting. Alright. Uh, it looks like a cartridge. A small pistol cartridge that's exactly what it is I say 22 cal I'm assuming a 22 caliber uh, pistol cartridge don't know if that's from the war it's rim fire so I kind of doubt it but who knows all right let's looky <laughs> got him I know that's cruel but he just took a chunk out of my elbow and I don't want him to take another chunk I don't think it warns <laughs> <laughs> that looked like you were angry. <laughs> yeah, really angry. Yeah, I don't think you've moved two feet, have you? <laughs> but anyway, we've got a squeaker right here, a true squeaker. I'm getting a little interference, so we're going to change our frequency because I just moved over here. Let's try three. All right, ready? Right in here. That was interference from Warren's machine. We're probably on the same frequency. So that's a true squeaker. Super happy about that signal small could be one of those little tiny silver coins a three reference or three pence which is kind of like a three three cent coin okay 
Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and set you up. You know, we'll use a pin pointer because if it's silver, I hate to put a hole right through. Well, I hate to put a hole through anything, but um, you know, toothpaste tube, I'm not quite as worried about, but a little silver coin, I'd be heartbroken. Try the machine again. All right, it's actually out of the hole behind you or beside you because I, um, with the squeaker you heard with the camera. So it's right in here somewhere. I'm gonna do some pinpointer work. Come on, I know you're in there. <laughs> All right, it's falling down through the leaves. Oh no, I don't like the looks of that. That looks like a square edge right there, doesn't it? Is it a leaf? Ah, it's a leaf. Don't give up hope yet. <gasps> it's a coin! Look. And true to life and true to my guess, yes, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. That's a little silver coin right there. Oh, yes it is. Almost hate to rub it, but we're gonna rub it. I think it's one of those three pence coins. Lucky, in somebody's head. <laughs> it's George. I think it's King George VI, maybe. Now, the neat thing about these coins, if uh, this is what it actually is, I'll well, see the date while you're here. 1942. Now, I don't know what this thing is. That's different than the other one I saw. We'll have to go ask one. Some of these little silver coins, maybe not this exact type, were minted in the United States, believe it or not. And I don't know why. I've never really heard about that. I don't know why. Or I, I just don't know why I don't know about that. And you would think that we would be very interested, as you know, United States people, um, in collecting coins that were minted in the U.S., shipped over for just for World War II to Australia, and uh, then shipped back and melted down to make other stuff like silverware. Let's go ask what this is. Hey, Warren. Uh, I want to let him know I'm behind him so he doesn't think I'm a giant snake. Uh, hey, I got a little silver coin. Oh, what is that thing? Nice. That's a sixpence. Sixpence? Okay, yeah. it's not a threepence. No, I thought it looked different than the ones you showed silver me. Silver sixpence with the coat of arms. Is it a 42? That could I be a D or an S. I think it's 42. Could be another Denver or... Oh, um, yeah. possibly. Nice you have, you have good eyes? I, do I don't not. have good uh, up-close eyes right now. They're more than likely to be most of them Denver and San Francisco. It'll be the mint market. Be, oh, it's a D, I think. Oh. Denver. Above the date? Above the date. I think Sweet. it is. If it's blank, it'll be Melbourne, but they're, they're more likely to be Denver, San Francisco. U.S. Mint. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I just actually took, retold the story back there. Yeah, that's awesome. That it could possibly be that. Six penny. Yeah. Six pence. Nine two five silver. Six pence. No. Nice. Six pennies. Excellent. Sound of great too. Yeah. I actually called it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's always so good. Silver it? coming. Yeah, up. I could tell. Yeah. I'll leave him alone. I don't know if he wants to get back to find another whole set of those. Um, what do you call them? Slow trench hats. Trench hats. Slouch hats. Slouch yeah. hats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a trail of something good. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm on it. A little pinpointing action so I don't hit it. There it is, right there. It's down a little ways. Just kind of scratch a little bit just to make sure it's not easily retrievable. Okay, so still down a little bit. We'll hit it with the pick. Metaphorically, hit the dirt with the pick, not the silver coin. All right, there we go. Hopefully I got it out of there. I'm gonna have to move you. Not even close. What is that thing? That's a lid off of, um, that's a lid off of something, I guess, or some type of plug. Very heavy, so it's got a lot of lead in it. Still working the area where I found that coin. I'm just gonna kinda stay here for a few minutes. Nice target, I'm suspecting that's gonna be a grommet. Looks like a big button though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a grommet. Another big tent grommet. Not a bad find, good piece of history. Uh, that's what I'll keep telling myself. Beep. Warren's been awfully quiet over there. Look at that smile. He's up to no good. <laughs> you got something good over there? Well, I took a great big deep hole. It took me 10 minutes, but I got a uh, tank grommet at about 8 inches. Oh, excellent. That's probably what I'm going to get ready to work on over here, too. I, I got a decent signal. Well, it was a big high number, like 82. Yeah, I had the same problem earlier. Yeah. I guess it's just the way it is sometimes, huh? I'm sure. All right, here's what we got here. Definitely not going to be toothpaste. Let me pull this back. Let's take a couple little chunks out of here. I don't know. I doubt it's a coin. It doesn't I don't know. I don't know what it is. Look how dry it is though. Still really, really dry. Okay, nice big target. And we're gonna set you up and go for her. What do you say? 
A little pinpointer action. Ooh. Oh, okay, it's right in the wall. Right there. Should be easy. To go in the hill just a little behind her and break the dirt up. There we go. I think that probably got it. Don't see anything yet, do you? That's out of the hole. I would imagine it's going to be a grommet, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Now, what do you think that is? I suspect, I don't know, it looks a nice little edge. There's almost a double edge there, so I'm suspecting it's going to be a grommet. When I first saw that piece, I thought potentially a coin, a copper coin. But because there's a double edge, I'm going to say grommet. Yeah, that's what it is. Oy, there you go. Nice big old green grommet. Green giant. For the sake of not driving you guys crazy, this is the last 60-ish signal, 60, 65, that I'm going to dig um, on camera because there's been a lot of grommets, but I feel I have to dig those signals. But I don't want you to have to watch me dig a whole bunch of grommets. But we'll dig one more. So it might not be that. Not very deep. You can lift, feel it, the coil up. I can tell that's not very deep. Uh, not a not a coin signal, but we'll dig it together. I think I can probably just scrape this one out of the ground more or less. I don't suspect it's going to be down very deep. Not going to be too phased because it's reading too high. All right, let's see what that is. Come on, baby, be out of the ground. No, nope, not yet. Put you up close. You dig back in the hill a little bit. That didn't give you a headache. Kind of dragging it forward. There's a, um, a little stump in there, so I can't dig very well. Right. I think that probably got it out of the hole, I would think. No, it's still in there. Now, there could be more than one target in this hole. Uh, it's a grommet. I can see it. If you look right here, you can see a little uh, piece of brassy stuff sticking out of the ground. I know that's a grommet. Now, it might be giving me a slightly different signal because if you notice, it's straight up and down. So when the coil is sweeping back and forth that way on a straight up and down object, it's going to give a slightly different response than if it was flat sweeping back and forth, back and forth. That's why it was giving a high squeak on it toward the end. It's an interesting little doodad here. Not sure what it is. I don't know. It's, it, you know. it was used by the military, but don't know if that would have been a military issue. We'll show it to Warren after a bit. He's busy moving along through the bush over there. And I want to be as well. She'll shake the coins from your pocket. Take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no 